Fernando Alonso has signed an extension with Aston Martin that will take him through to the new regulations in 2026. I love this. Love this for him. I love how he, you know, talked down and kind of shaded Mercedes. Mercedes. Like, they're not where we're at. Why would I look at a worse team? Um, Props to him for for saying that in an interview. Um, But I'm... I'm very excited to see, you know, Old Man Winter stay on the grid longer. We have, you know, two more seasons with him after this season. I'm happy about it. I'm sure Daddy Stroll is happy about it. Um, This is exciting. Yeah, it's it's really interesting to me because they're they're not they they haven't really talked about the duration of the contract, which is really interesting because usually it's like here's a one year extension, here's a two year extension, here's a you know. 800 year extension to 2029 if we're talking about like someone like Charles Leclerc. Um, but this one has been characterized as kind of a lifetime contract. And I, I, I don't, I, I say lifetime with a big grain of salt, um, but it looks like this is setting Fernando up to kind of become the Nikki Lauda of Aston Martin. Yeah. Which I love too. I think he's so wise in his many years on the grid. Um, but he also is very involved and it seems like he's really taken to this, you know, coaching kind of thing with Lance. He's enjoying the team, enjoying the atmosphere. He seems to be much happier than he was at Alpine. Um, Big time. I like this relationship. I do. And like I said, yeah. I'm, I'm a huge Fernando Alonso fan. Um, I love having him on the grid. I think it just adds some levity. Um, so yeah. Just a bit. I'm yeah, and I, I think it's interesting because like this is also the agreement that Lewis wanted with Mercedes that Mercedes wouldn't give him. I know I was sent him the to same Ferrari. thing of like, you know, he got it and Lewis didn't, and I, I mean, who knows what made them pull the trigger again? For those of you who are newer to Formula One, all contract negotiations generally happen towards the end of the first half of the season and then things actually happen in silly season which is during the summer break this year is completely different for um fernando alonso you know signing an extension now is not common lewis hamilton moving to ferrari before the season even starts is super not common so i feel like we're just going to have this mayhem constantly this season because we have so many seats open that if people wait and wait and wait either teams are going to get screwed or drivers are going to get screwed. So I, I think seeing another big contract come out with a, you know, prominent driver is just really showing us that that's the trend that this is, that's what's going to happen this year. Yeah. And especially when you think about, you know, Aston Martin is definitely like a, that's a seat that people want. So that seat is off the board. Lance's is also probably off the board because let's be real, as long as Lance wants to continue driving in Formula One, Daddy Stroll's going to let him. Exactly. Um, so that's that's a high profile seat off the board.